Hello. I already tried recording this one once and then realized uh, about two minutes in that I had just explained uh, curl and divergence uh, in reverse order. So uh, just fixing that mistake, we know that the curl of some vector field is going to be del cross f, where the del operator is partial, partial x, partial, partial y, partial, partial z. And then we know that the divergence of a vector field f is del dot f. Okay, now that we have that down, uh, let's take this first curl. So we have, uh, we know that our curl is going to be del cross f, so I'm actually going to grab this over here because I hate writing the dels. To save a little time. And this is crossed with 2y plus 2z z plus x and y plus x. And so now taking our cross product, we will get uh, 0, comma, zero comma, negative 1, comma, or sorry, not negative 1. See, this is, this is I do this, uh, 1, comma, negative 1. There we go. And so we can express this in terms of i, j, k as curl of f is equal to j minus k. There we go. Okay, we're computing uh, <laughs> the gradient of the divergence of f minus the curl of the curl of f. Okay, this one's a this one's a ton of fun, so let's get into it. The divergence of f is going to be del dot f, and so that's going to end up being 2xyz plus 2xyz plus 2xyz, which is 6xyz. Uh, because it's so dot product, we add everything together, and then our gradient for that, uh, applying our, our gradient operator, will just be 6yz, 6xz, 6yx. So there's our first component. We're halfway done, almost, although curl, curl takes, takes a, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of time. So let's let's get let's get on with that. Um, but at this point, we can see okay, all, our our answers are are uh, pretty well represented. Like it seems like we're going down the right path. So that's that's good at least. So curl of f is going to be del uh, well partial partial x, partial partial y, partial partial z crossed with. Uh, x squared y z, x y squared z, x y z squared. And then this is one big old cross product. And so starting off, we are going to get uh, x z squared minus y, uh, sorry, x y squared, comma, x squared y minus y z squared, comma. We're seeing a pattern. We could just fill this out, but uh, this is, we got to do the whole thing. Um, z y squared minus z x squared. Okay, and now, <laughs> now all we got to do is do the curl again. So I'm going to reuse this uh, kind of template we've got over here and just expand things out a little bit. we got that. We've got this. And we've got this. Oh, whoops. And we can erase our little things down here. OK, so last step. And we should be done. So, crossing our first term, we are going to get 
y z minus minus negative two y z. Yeah, just being very careful here. And this will be four y z. And we actually don't need to continue. And I really don't want to continue because my hands are freezing and uh, it won't actually help us with the answer because we know that if our x component of curl curl f is this and our x component of grad div x is this and we're subtracting this from this, we are going to get a. Okay, we're looking for the divergence of the gradient of f at 1, 1, 1. So taking the gradient of f, we are going to, uh, we're doing del dot f. So uh, this guy is going to become 2xyz. Uh, or sorry, sorry, this is gradient. No, 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 no. This is gradient, not divergence yet. So taking the gradient of f, fx is going to be 2xyz minus y squared plus 2z squared. Fy is going to be x squared z minus 2xy. And fz is going to be x squared y plus 4xz. Okay, and now uh, taking our, our divergence, this guy, uh, dx, is going to be well, the, the derivative with respect, the partial derivative with respect to x is going to be 2yz, and that's it. And then the partial derivative with respect to y over here is going to be minus 2x, and the partial derivative over here is going to be 4x. And really, all we had to do was take a look up here and say, okay, well, we know for the gradient, we're going to be taking a partial, uh, let's say for our x component, we're taking a partial derivative with respect to x. And then for divergence, we're also taking a partial derivative with respect to x. So all we really had to do was notice that this guy will be the only one that shows up in the, or that contributes to uh, the final, uh, you know, component. So if we take the second partial derivative with respect to x, we will get 2yz. And all these are added together. So 2yz minus 2x plus 4x. This is the same as 2yz plus 2x. Uh, and then we're at 1, 1, 1. So this will just be 4. Okay, we're looking for the, div uh, the, di the gradient of the divergence of f dotted with the curl of f at a specific point. So let's find the gradient of the divergence. Well, the divergence of f is just going to be, uh, as we know, uh, del dot f. So uh, taking these partial derivatives and, and adding them together, we'll get y plus z plus x. And then taking the gradient of that, we will get 1, 1, 1. So Excuse me. There's our first half of the equation. Now we're dotting this with the. Whoops. We're dotting this with the curl of f, which we can set up partial partial x, partial partial y, partial partial z, x y y z z x. So now taking that, we are going to get negative y. negative z and negative x. And so we can plug these values in. This is going to be 1 comma negative 2 comma negative 1. And so taking this dot product, we're going to get 1 minus 2 minus 1, which is negative 2. And we're done. Hopefully that was helpful and hopefully I didn't screw up any of my cross products.